Hello everyone and welcome to Java Programming NMSU Grants OECS 195. Today we're going to go through the Replit uh, online IDE and uh, show you how to write your first program and submit your first assignment. Traditionally in Java programming classes you will be told to install Vim. Uh, we have always used Eclipse and which is a really powerful program. You can write in uh, amazing programs and it's very helpful to the new programmer. However, we've had to dedicate a week in the past in order for everyone to get up to date and installed and configuration, etc., etc. So we have decided to move to an online IDE and since this is an online class, everyone should be good to go. If you have questions, however, let your instructor know. Today we're going to set up our REPL account and you can get there by going to REPL.IT pronounced REPLIT. We are going to choose here Java and it will automatically bring you to an IDE and a, a console environment. But the first thing we want to do is log in or sign up. Now, you should see a sign up screen that says username, email, and password. Make sure that you use a username and your school email that makes sense. If you want to be graded, we need to know it's you. Finally, a password. I've set up an account using my uh, a Gmail account in order to show you how this works. However, you must, capital M-U-S-T, use your school email address. Otherwise, you will not receive your grade. Let me uh, log in real quick. All right, once you're logged in, you should see something that looks like this. Notice my REPL, that's the program that you will write. Uh, your drop down here for account profile. The community is a community of programmers. Ask questions, provide assistance. We are going to go to start coding now. We want Java. And now we have an IDE as well as the uh, console output over here. Up here, this tells us our username. We want to go ahead and title this, and we're going to call this first one Hello Aggies. And this is OECS 195 and your name. This must be done each time in order to ensure you get proper credit. Now we have Run, Save, and Share. Run allows us to run the program, Save saves it and share is how you will get the URL to submit your assignment. Here we have add new file and here's our settings and they're pretty self-explanatory side by side or stacked, light or dark, font size, uh, spaces, leave that as spaces, indent 2 and go ahead and make sure soft wrap and enabled are on. Excellent. Now, when we come back and we look at our REPLs, we will have this Aggies, Hello Aggies, that we started. So let's write our first program. Now, there are a couple of things that you must pay attention to. First, unlike the textbook, we will no longer be using packages. So it will not say package, com, dot, whatever it was that they recommend. So you can leave that out. And two, Classes will be, if we hit save here, there's no changes to save yet. So at the top of each assignment, you'll see class or public class something. And let's go ahead and write our first program, and you'll see what I mean. So the first thing we want to do is use public, and here it's trying to help us autocomplete. Okay, so public, class, and let's say we say hello, world. Or let's make that hello Aggies. We'll put our parentheses, our curly brace in here. 
Now, if we run this, we will get an error. And it will say main.java error class hello aggies is public should be declared in a file named hello aggies.java. So we have two solutions. One, we can come over here, add a new file, say continue. And now we have this file here. And it allows us to, we could add another one if we wanted. Say, see, this is file one. Okay, we don't need that one. Let's delete that. However, this main.java, see, we have nothing we can click on, is the default. And when you're writing a program, this public class or this class, this outside container, must match this. So we have to change this to main here. And it is case sensitive. So if this was a lowercase m, you would have a lowercase m here. Now if we run this again, now we are getting a different um, exited with zero non-zero status, which is fine. We can also save. Notice it tells you that it's saved. So let's go ahead and continue to the next line of code. Notice it's trying to help you. Public static void main. Now here it's important to note that it's copying this main already. However, we must have a lowercase main in the second statement. We'll do string boxes args and our next curly bracket. All right, so let's save that and let's run it. Now when we run it, no errors, but nothing happened. All it did was bring down another line. That's great. That means that this shell is set up correctly. Now let's go ahead and complete the program so that it tells us hello Aggies. We'll do system and notice I typed system with a lowercase but the keyword has an uppercase. It has to be uppercase. If you use the shortcut, which is fine, be aware that that S is a capital. Okay, dot out, dot print line, LN. Okay, so it's print LN, parenthesis, double quote, hello, Aggies, and finally we need a semicolon at the end. Now when we run this, we will see it put out or output, specifically out print line, hello Aggies. So let's save it and run. Excellent, hello Aggies. So this first project is successful and you have a fully functioning, albeit very simple, Java program. The last thing you have to do, make sure you save go to share and this link right here is the link that you will input into your homework in Canvas in order for it to be graded. Now, let's go over this one more time. Make sure you title it and you put OECS 195 and your name. You save everything before you submit it and then you grab the share link and that's how you will submit it into Canvas. This is a much easier system than having to save files, upload files, make sure you have the right ones, download files to be graded. The instructor can come right here, grade it, provide you with the grade, and help you with your code if there's a problem. Well, thank you very much. If you have any questions, stop by the campus or email your instructor through Canvas. And happy coding. Talk soon.